Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information, you can visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. So, in this video, uh, in our last videos, we have talked about stability analysis of a closed loop system, and in the same series, we talked about how to check stability of the system using Rao Hurwitz criteria and how to deal with the special case of Rao Hurwitz. Uh, when there is a zero in a first column. Now, in this video, we'll talk about the second special case of Rao Hurwitz criteria, in which uh, what happens when entire row becomes zero in Rao table. Okay, so let's open where we left. Okay, so today we'll talk about Rao special case two. when entire row is zero so let's take an example so let's say ts is equals to uh, 10 divided by s to the power 5 plus 7 s is to the power 4 plus 6 s cube plus 42 s is square plus 8 s plus 256 so let's create the first route table uh, for this transfer function so as we know uh, highest power is to the power 5 so first we'll write all the odd coefficients uh, odd power coefficients of s then it is 1 6 and 8 now next will be s to the power 4 so now we'll start writing the coefficients of even powers of s starting from 4 to 0 so, so it will be 7 and then 42 and then 256 so this entire row is divisible by 7 so instead of 7 we can write divisible by we can divide it this entire row by 7 and this will be okay uh, so for mistake this is not 56 uh, 256 it is simple 56 so uh, this row will become divisible by 7 so this will become 8 so now we will calculate this s to power cube term okay so obviously this term will become 0 because we multiply this into this minus this into this so it will become 0 so it is pretty obvious because both the row are same it is 168 and it is 168 again so both row becomes 0 so this entire row has become 0 so what to do in this case so what we do uh, we take the one polynomial uh, suppose uh, this row is becoming 0 at this line so we will create a temporary polynomial uh, from this one right so uh, that temporary polynomial will be so let's have some rough work here p of s equals to uh, it will be uh, s to the power 4 plus 6 s square plus 8 so this is the uh, temporary polynomial which we have created uh, based on the row prior to the row which has become 0 now we differentiate this particular polynomial so with respect to s so dp s by ds it will become 4 s cube plus 12 s plus 0 so now this will become the new coefficients of this uh, row uh, in which entire in which all the coefficients have 0 so it will become instead of 0 we will write here 4 and instead of 0 we will write here 12 and this will remain as 0 and because this row is again divisible by 
4 so we can write it as 1 and this 3 so finally uh, we can write this as to power th coefficient of this as to power 3 row as 1 and 3 so now we will write coefficient of this s square so this will be 1 into 6 minus 1 into 3 divided by 1 and the next term uh, will be 1 into 8 minus 1 into 0 divided by 1 so this term will become 6 minus 3 3 and this will become 8 now we will calculate as to the power 1 coefficient so this 3 into 3 minus 1 into 8 so 3 into 3 minus 1 into 8 divided by 3 so it will become uh, 1 by 3 and then uh, this particular will become this quotient will become 0 now next as to the power 0 coefficient uh, 1 by 3 into 8 minus 0 divided by 1 by 3 so it will become 8 so now if we talk about the signs so all the signs are positive here this is positive sign this is positive sign this is positive sign that means there is no sign change in the entire table now this special case has some special properties as well so right now uh, this system is uh, stable uh, we can't say this system is exactly stable because there are conditions in which this system can become marginally stable as well and why is so because the even polynomial this uh, this entire row is becoming zero this entire row is becoming zero due to uh, this even polynomial so the there are if we write this even polynomial again so uh, this even polynomial was ps was s to the power 4 plus 6 s square plus 8 so it will have four roots so this even polynomial have four roots right so when this entire row becomes zero uh, then that means the roots of this polynomial roots of this even polynomial are symmetric about origin are symmetric about origin that means there could be three cases there could be three cases uh, three how these three cases suppose uh, this is our sigma axis and this is our j omega axis so three cases means suppose our roots are because roots has to be symmetrical so one root is on right side and one root is on left side that means on the real axis only right second case could be uh, if the roots are on j omega axis only so this could be second case so one root on this side of j omega axis and another root because due to symmetry minus j omega another root will be on this side now third case will be if we have one root here so because complex root only appear in the complex uh, in a conjugate pair so another root will be here and because the root has to be symmetric so correspondingly there will be another one root here and one root here so this is the third case okay so the roots of this even polynomial so roots of this even polynomial can occur in this one of these three configuration either they are like this or either they are on j omega axis or they are in that <coughs> in the quadrantal like third case now how we'll find like whether our root based on this uh, case 2 or based on 1 if you look at careful in case 1 one root is lying on the right side of the s plane that means if there is any sign change in this table that will indicate after this particular polynomial after this polynomial if there is any sign change that means one root is going to be on the right side of the s plane if uh, there is only one time sign is changing then our root will be in case 1 configuration 
if sign is changing two times after row of zero that will that will show like we have two roots on the right side of the s plane so our case will be three but if there is no sign change after this row of zero as in this present case that will indicate or that means there is no right side of the s plane there is no root which is lying on the right side of the s plane right so that means finally our roots are lying on the geomere axis only like in this case too so if the roots are on geomere axis like this that means uh, so the in our case uh, we have this even polynomial and the four roots are there so and there is no sign change after this row of zero that means there is no first case there is no root towards the right side second roots are in symmetric about origin so this second case or second case is satisfying all the condition that indicates all the four roots are lying on this j omega axis and this polynomial was having the order of five that means four roots are lying on this j omega axis and one root is lying on the left side of the s plane so obviously our system is not stable but it is a marginally stable system so generally if uh, uh, any row is becoming zero in any polynomial so there could be cases either system will be unstable or system will be marginally stable so this is how uh, we can check whether our system is stable or unstable and this is how <coughs> we deal like uh, whether uh, we deal like the special case of the Rao Hurwitz in which one row becomes zero so i hope you have understood like how to solve and how to interpret the location of the roots in a case when entire row is becoming zero so that's it for this video thank you